Hi everyone, my name is Jerome, and I want to welcome you to the first of our From Bits to Bots video series. When I joined the Project Invent team, this was me. This series will be about my journey learning Arduino, including the mistakes I made, error codes I encountered, patterns I figured out, and tips that I can pass along to you as a fellow learner. The goal is to show some specific skills that you can apply to your project and spark discussion about what I've learned through this process. Over the next 10 weeks, I'll release a series of nine videos. This week is our release week. The next three videos will relate to setting up and familiarizing myself with the Arduino IDE and ways we can manipulate that code. Then I'll be set a series of challenges like how to play a song or use an accelerometer or combining servo motors to make things move. For the final project, then you will have the chance to vote on what problem I actually tackle and we'll see how I go about using the design thinking process to create some sort of solution. So if you're looking to go from this to this, we have set up an emergency call button that, when pushed, sends a prearranged message to a trusted adult. Resuscify aims to incentivize CPR education by gamifying the process of practicing CPR. It uses LED lights to provide instant feedback of CPR performance. Our solution to Mr. Thomas's problem was the helping hand glove, a glove that uses light to indicate when intense pressure or temperature is coming in contact of the hand. This is what our product would look like from the inside. This is the play button. Play Star Wars, because why not? This is the pause button. Then, this is the next button. It will take you to the next lesson plan. And the next. Follow along as I share tips and tricks to hack Arduino.